All rise, Clinton County Youth Court is now in session. The Honorable Halstead, now presiding. Juvenile court hearings are closed hearings. The only persons allowed in the courtroom are people directly involved in the case. If there is anyone in the courtroom who is not directly involved in this case, you will have to leave at this time. If you are not a youth court member, a defendant, or his or her parent, you will have to leave at this time. Everything that goes on in youth court is confidential. We will take an oath of confidentiality. If everyone will please stand, raise their right hand, and repeat after me. I solemnly swear that I will not divulge. I solemnly swear that I will not divulge. Either by words or signs. Either by words or signs. Any information which comes to my knowledge. Any information which comes to my knowledge. In the course of a youth court session. In the course of a youth court session. And that I will keep secret all said proceedings. And that I will keep secret all said proceedings. Which may be held in my presence. Which may be held in my presence. Jury, please remain standing. All others may be seated. Jury, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to listen to the evidence and give a fair and impartial verdict in this case? Yes. You may be seated. You have been picked as jurors and have promised to do a good job. This is a criminal case. The defendant is charged with endangering the welfare of a child. Bailiff, please call the first case. In the matter of Hillary McDaniels, case number 128, offense endangering the welfare of a child. Prosecution, are you ready to begin? Yes, I am, Your Honor. You may make your opening statement. Your Honor, may I address the jury? Yes, you may. Ladies and gentlemen, jury, Your Honor, I'd like to thank you all for your time and attention in this matter. On September 10th, Hillary McDaniels made a grave error. She broke the law and endangered the life of one of her dearest friends. Now, we need to show her that in life she needs to make better choices when dealing with drugs. With 40 hours of community service, two jury duties, and a drug education class, I believe we can show Hillary this. Thank you very much. Defense, please present your opening statement. May I approach the jury? Yes, you may. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I intend to prove that my client's responsibility in this case is minimal. Thank you. I call the defendant, Hillary McDaniels, to the stand and ask the bailiff to place her under oath. Prosecution, please present your case. Your Honor, may I approach the defendant? Yes, you may. Hillary, could you describe for us the events of that day on September 10th? I was in school with my friend Beth, and um, she was having a really bad day. I don't know what was her, why she was upset, but she was just really upset. And I had taken prescription uh, antidepressants the day before and, from my grandfather, and she I asked her if she wanted one, and she took one. And then around third period, I asked her if, how she was feeling, and she said she was feeling better. So I asked her if she wanted any more, and she took the bottle and took as many of as she wanted. Um, did, were you aware that by giving her these prescription medications, you could have been endangering her life? Um, not really. Um, so you weren't really aware that you endangered her life not once, but twice by giving her the dosage and... Objection, Your Honor. Leading. Overruled. Um, no, I didn't know. Um, now, was this your decision to give them to her completely? Yes. Now, where, now you got the drugs from your grandfather, correct? Yes. Um, now, do you think it was right of you to take your grandfather's pills? No, it was stealing. So, so you would consider that stealing? Yes. And you would consider stealing against the law? Yes. Now, were you aware that stealing was against the law before you took the pills? Objection, Your Honor. She just said that she realized stealing is against the law. Not when. I'm asking her when she knew stealing was against the law. I'll allow it. Overruled. Could you answer the question? Could you repeat it? Now, did you know that stealing was against the law before you took your grandfather's pills? Yes. Um, why did you decide to steal the pills from your grandfather? Because they made me feel happier. Um, what happened to your friend exactly? when she became ill? Um, around lunchtime, she started like throwing up and not feeling well at all, and then she passed out, and she had to get rushed to the hospital and have her stomach pumped. No further questions, Your Honor. 
Defense, please present your case. May I approach the defendant? Yes, you may. Did you force your friend to take these pills? No, I did not. Um, what led up to you taking the pills from your grandfather? I just wanted to see what it would do to make me feel happier. What was the reason you took the pills from your grandfather? Oh, um... Objection, Your Honor, was answered already to make her feel this better. Is, this is a different question. It's the same exact question I asked, I asked why what, she took the pills. What led up to it and why she took them are two completely different things. Overruled. Um, well, my parents have been arguing really, really bad, so it was making me out depressed. All right. Um, did you tell your friend how many pills to take? No. Um, were you punished for this? Yes. How so? I um, have to stay in my bedroom for like three months. All right. Uh, were your parents upset? Yes. Uh, was your grandfather upset? Yes, he can't like look at me straight anymore. Uh, were your friend's parents upset? Yes. When your friend began showing symptoms that something was wrong, did you attempt to get help for her? Yes. Um, did your friend just take the pills without asking you how many she should take, or? The second time, yes. All right. Um, no further questions. Prosecution, do you have any further questions for the yes, witness? Yes, I do, Your Honor. May I approach the defendant? Yes, you may. Uh, do you feel that just because something's wrong in someone's life, it gives them permission to break the law? No. Um, so why did you feel that it was OK for you to do it? Well, because I just thought it would make us feel better. Um, do you know how much the hospital visit cost your friend? About $2,000. No further questions, Your Honor. Defense, do you have any further questions? Yes, may I approach the defendant? Yes, you may. Did you offer to pay for the hospital bills? Yes. All right. Do you realize that what you did was wrong? Yes. Will you ever do it again? No, I've learned my lesson. All right. No further questions. Prosecution, any further questions for yes, the defendant? Yes, I have one further question, Your Honor. May I approach the defendant? Yes, you may. Where were you going to come up with the $2,000? Um, I babysit and I do stuff around the house. Um, about how much do you make, uh, I'll say, a week? Objection, Your Honor. Relevance? It goes directly it's to... It's relevant you. because if it goes to as to whether it is her that's going to be paying it or her parents. Thank you, Your Or Honor. another party. Yes, yeah. I'm going to be paying the hospital bills. I'm saving up. I get about $20 a week. Okay. No further questions, Your Honor. Defense, do you have any further questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. Prosecution? No, Your Honor. The witness may step down. Does the defense have any further witnesses? No, Your Honor. Prosecution? No, Your Honor. At this time, the jury will enter the deliberating room to develop any questions they may have for the defendant, their parents, or any witnesses. This court is now in recess. said that she got grounded she was supposed to stay in her room but does that mean like she couldn't be on the phone or does that mean she what things did she get taken away from her? Yeah, it needs to be a little more specific. Yeah. Okay. Um any others besides just that? Maybe if she finds a different job, maybe better paying that'll help her gain the two thousand a little faster. So is she looking for a better paying job? Right. Also, she, uh, she mentions about part of the reason she took the pills in the first place was because of the fact that she, her, her parents were arguing a lot, having problems at home. Uh, has she been seeing anybody to help her with that? Or will she consider seeing somebody to help her do some massage, take the other pills? Maybe getting yeah. some counsel help, um, uh, recommending that what she did was wrong. Ask her uh, more information on what she thought. Um, about that. Okay. 
Do the missing pills affect your grandpa? And if they did, how? about giving her the pills at school. Why did she have the pills with her at the school in the first place? Yeah, that's really good. It's not like she knew her friend was going to be depressed. Yeah, but, they, yeah, but still she should have. Why would she have the pills out on the That's like person? the reason why yeah. she had them in school. It well, seems like she was mm -hmm. planning to take them herself. Some yeah. More. Well, be a little sympathetic, guys. She's having problems at home. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are there any other questions besides this? We have. Um, what other things have been taken away besides just staying in your room for three months? Um, are you looking for a better paying job to help pay for the medical bills? Are you seeing anyone for your problems at home, like counseling or anything like that? Do the missing pills affect your grandpa, and if so, how? Um, did you get in trouble at school for bringing the pills to school and for the ambulance having to come? And why did you bring the pills to school? Mm -hmm. Any others? Sounds good. Sounds good. That's good. Sounds good. Okay. Good. So I guess we're ready to go back and ask the questions. Okay. This teen court is now in session. Does the jury have any questions? Yes, we do, Your Honor. Okay, Hillary. First, we'd like to know, um, besides just staying at home, what other things were taken away from you? I'm still not allowed to use the phone, the computer, anything. I have no access outside my room. We'd also like to know, are you looking for a better paying job to help with the medical bills? Yes. Have you been seeing anyone for your problems at home, and have you considered counseling? Yeah, my guidance counselor. Do the missing pills affect your grandpa, and how? Um, uh, I think... He's okay now, but I'm not really sure what happened to him. Did you get in trouble at school for bringing the pills and for having the ambulance come? Yeah, I was suspended for like a week. Why did you bring the pills to school? Because I needed them to feel better. So Defense, please present your closing arguments. May I approach the jury? Yes, you may. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I think that my client has already been punished sufficiently for her crime. She lives in a troubled household. Her parents, grandparents, father, and family have all lost trust in her. She almost killed one of her best friends. Just this alone must have been enough to, to be very traumatic to her. And she'll probably never be able to see one of her best friends again. As if this were not enough, the minor that she endangered is older than she is. She never forced her friend to take the drugs. She never attempted to persuade her friend or pressure her friend to take the drugs. She simply offered the drugs and admits that this was wrong. She was grounded for three months as well. Also, don't forget that she swore under oath that she would pay back the hospital bill. A large order for someone who only makes $20 a week. This is why I'm asking for 20 hours of community service, two jury duties, and one drug education class. Thank you. May I approach the jury, Your Honor? Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'd like to thank you again for your time and attention in this matter. Now, how can we be sure that Hillary will pay off this bill? There's nothing saying that she will. And she made a conscious mistake. She consciously gave her friend these pills. She consciously stole the pills from her grandfather. Now, she has proven to us that she knows that these things are wrong. She testified to that. We need to show her that poor choices in life can lead to harm to a friend or a family member. And they can also lead to the burden on that friend's parents. With 40 hours of community service, two jury duties, and a drug education class, I believe that we can show Hillary that this is the wrong path to follow and that she needs to choose better choices in the future. Thank you. 
You have now heard the evidence and closing arguments from both sides of this case. The defendant has been charged with endangering the welfare of a child. You will determine the conditions that Hillary will abide by to have this case dismissed. You as jurors have the authority to impose a mandatory sentence of 10 to 40 community service hours and a jury duty, with two being the maximum sentence. You also have additional options such as apology letters, an essay related to the crime, a peer pressure class, or a drug education class. The bailiff will escort the jury into the deliberating room where they will decide what sentence to hand down. The court will now take a recess while the jury deliberates. This Dean Court is now in session. Has the jury reached a decision? Yes, Your Honor, we have. Bailiff, bring me the decision. The Youth Court jury has reached a majority decision, and the judge has signed the decision. Hillary, would you and your parents rise to hear the decision? We, the jury of Clinton County Youth Court, hereby sentence Hillary McDaniels to 28 hours of community service, one drug ed education class, two jury duties, and an apology letter to the family of the friend, to the school, and to your grandfather. I think this sentence is fair and appropriate for the offense committed here. We all have to understand that society has rules to protect all of us, and that even though we are young, we have obligations to follow these rules. Based upon what occurred here, I am confident that you will complete your community service and fulfill the special conditions imposed upon you this evening. This youth court is now in recess. <laughs>